Welcome to Alfred Ash Yamaha and Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of a 2023 Express X19 Pro Bass. This boat's already sold. Uh, Mr. Jim came from uh, New York City down to us in Pennsylvania to buy this boat. We appreciate you making the trip. Uh, but I wanted to do a walkthrough. This is a really cool setup. Of course, X19, 19 foot pro bass boat. Like all Expresses, of course, they're all welded, all aluminum. In my opinion, the best handling and uh, best performing aluminum in the industry. Uh, but the upgrades that he got with this boat tandem axle trailer, of course, aluminum rims, 200 horsepower Yamaha V Max SHO, which is the max horsepower for this boat. Speed-wise, runs mid to high 60s, depending on the conditions. 10-inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate with the high-performance package, which also includes the dual blinker trim, hydraulic steering, and hot foot. Also, other upgrades, two 10-foot Minkota Raptors. And then we run them on the jack plate brackets, as you see here. He upgraded the Yamaha SHO prop, which performs a little bit better than the standard power techs. And you can, uh, one nice thing with the Yamahas is you can run the uh, jack plate pretty well, almost all the way up at wide open. Makes the boat a little bit more stable. Ratchet tie downs, which is an upgrade. Orange appearance package. So with the orange appearance package, you get orange stripes in the side of the boat. Seat stripes are orange. And orange sea deck. If you're not familiar with sea deck, sea deck is a very nice floor covering. Basically it has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages. It dries quickly, hooks don't snag in it, it's easy to wash. Charcoal color with charcoal spray and liner. Like all Expresses, they spray the liner throughout, over top of every hatch and underneath every hatch in every compartment. Of course, all aluminum trailer, which is made in-house by Express. It fits the boat spot on. Makes them very easy to load and unload. Hyperlift pad haul. And what that means is that the very back bottom of the boat is a pad, and I'm putting two. The pad's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. So when you're up on the pad, uh, with the motor trimmed out, the boat goes faster and it rides better because there's very little of the boat in the water. And then along with the aggressive steps of the hull and then reverse chine, these boats will turn on a dime. I'm actually currently at the Susquehanna River with Jim. Uh, like most Express customers, we go with the uh, customers to the water to show you how to use your boat. We explain everything at the shop first, and then we also go to the water too. And then we also PDI every boat very thoroughly. Every boat in the industry, not just Express, takes extra things to fix uh, from the factory. And the good dealers will take their time to go through boats very thoroughly to fix things before the customer gets it to make sure it's as trouble free as possible. And then we also water test every boat before you receive it as well because there's certain things that can only be tested in the water like live well fittings and propping and that type of thing. But some of the coolest things I wanted to share with this boat is Jim really loaded his boat up. So basically he got two 10 inch grass at the console. One Hummerbird Helix, one Garmin Echo Map Ultra. And then at the bow, again a Hummerbird and a Garmin, but 12 inch. Garmin Force, Live Scope with his aftermarket live scanner pole mount, Hummerbird 360 imaging. We installed everything here at FNS. 
and then we also tied everything together so that the hummingbirds communicate, the Garmin's communicate, everything communicates everywhere. So it's a complete total network for both Garmin and Hummingbird. And then on the transom, then there's actually three different transducers, one for the Garmin, two for the Hummingbird, uh, one high speed, and then the standard side imaging. Also upgrades Jim's boat, uh, Dakota lithium 12 volt batteries, three 12 volt, 100 amp hours, and then a 31 AGM for the boat. And then we tied everything together with a power pole charger. So with the power pole charger, uh, with how that operates, if you're not familiar, it will pot, rob power from the trolling motor batteries to assist the boat battery. And that way it's almost impossible to run out of juice. You always have it there. And it's also a charger as well. And then also when you're running your big motor and charging your boat battery, if it gets fully charged, the excess charge will go over to the trolling motor batteries to assist. It's pretty cool. Also an upgrade, C-Clair harness. So the C-Clair harness is a dedicated, very big diameter wiring harness that's just for the electronics. And then each electronic is fused individually and then we run a switch just for the electronics. And then we install that at the back. This is some of our custom install. The boat comes stock with one on off switch, which powers the boat, and then we installed the second one and made the bracket that you see here that holds both switches. We're very service oriented here at FNS. You'll see that if you look at our Google reviews and Facebook reviews, we have, we have great reputation and we really pride ourselves on our service reputation to do a great job with rigging helping customers with, custom, with questions, any problems down the road, we're all about service here at FNS. I think that orange sea deck is really cool. Really makes a boat pop. Switch panel, gauges. Tachometer, you can see your two dual blinker trim behind the steering wheel. Lots of room on these X19s, 95 inch beam. This is one of the, this is the first live scanner pull mount that we got for uh, live imaging. It's really cool. Uh, Jim got it and sent it to us and uh, it's really cool how it works, how it mounts to the Garmin Force. And then you actually have a separate foot pedal to operate it. You can control the speed. That's what that little scale is. From what I've seen in the industry, I think that's probably the nicest one in the industry here right now. You also see you got the trick steps, trailer steps. Fish finder mounts. So we use bass boat technologies, stacker mount up front and then the dual graph mount at the console. I really appreciate Jim giving us the opportunity to set this boat up and purchase it from us. And appreciate you making the trip down from New York City. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Thanks for watching.